scientific genius of the world. Sonic and his buddy somehow found a way to get to the space company. Why am I getting readings from two separate chaos emeralds? What's going on? They must be planning a counterattack. There's no time to waste. Welcome back to Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Eggman and after has a, a after a bunch of cringe levels, we finally get to enjoy ourselves. Yes, this is, in my opinion, the most fun Dr. Eggman level you can play in the game. Now, on one hand, you know, this is technically the longest Dr. Eggman level you can play. But as you can clearly see, seeing a sound, this is one of the mech levels in space. Gravity is a completely different story in this game. Now, as in, it doesn't oh, oh. exist. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, seeing as how this is space, like, with this level, it's like, yeah, you could take gravity to your advantage, especially with Eggman's booster. So it's like, yeah, if yeah, if you utilize the boost and and the lack of and like the lack of gravity in this level, it's like you can easily bypass like massive chunks of the level, like no problem. Because the the longer you hold on to like um the longer you use the um the booster without um having without uh, letting go of the button or whatnot, you keep going up for a certain amount of time until you reach a certain peak of height. After that, that's when you'll slowly descend. But that but that increase in height as you keep going up, it's like yeah, it allows you to like surpass like certain parts of the level like at a and go through this part of the level at a much faster rate. Mm -hmm. So I was like, yeah, it's it's really satisfying. I can only imagine a lot of speedrunners will tend to, um, you know, take full advantage of that feature, provided, of course, they're not cheating. Well, what's cheating when gravity doesn't exist? <laughs> no, you'd be surprised. They somehow implemented Dr. Eggman to use chaos control to get from point A to point B in an instant. Yeah, great, even the doctor can use it. <laughs> okay, well, I, okay. Well, I mean, don't call me on that, guys. I I have not seen a speed run of Sonic Adventure 2, so and I seriously doubt they're they're able to implement that exactly. But I'm sure they figure out a way to blaze through this level like crazy. I mean, they've done that. I've seen people do that with other levels in this game, so I wouldn't put it past me if they did something along the same lines with this level in particular. Also, Dr. Eggman's final upgrade, the Protection Armor, which essentially makes him, you know, extend his health bar. It, pretty much. Yay! I can die less! Yeah, sadly, uh, Tails doesn't get this kind of an upgrade, but it's okay, though. It's, it's not that big of a loss. It's a prototype! <laughs> it's a prototype? <laughs> and Alfred... And now for like um uh, the first instance of these uh, rail and gun segments in this level, so so yeah, literally you're on a rail, you should literally blow up everything in your path. Eggman's you... mech doesn't give a fuck. It's like fuck meteors. <laughs> <laughs> I am an impenetrable wall of meat. Now it's now it's like if you want to, you can try to aim for like a much better. But considering on just how fast this rail goes, and considering you know, like you know how fast how fast these enemies are going past you while on said rail, you could be like you could be like me and it's just like you know what I don't care if I if I'm unable to rack up like a really big combo. I just want to make sure that I make sure everything is blown up. No robot, no robot left behind. I, I, I just want, love I want those that. I did just love that though, it's like just consecutive, good, 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 good. <laughs> Ow. Okay, oh, okay. bullshit! Yeah, yeah. Santa Coach! Fucking artificial chaos. Whose idea was this? Oh, jeez. I have I... no idea. I honestly, Fire, man. I honestly don't even remember, like, within the Sonic lore, like, how the artificial chaos came to be. I assume it was something in regards to the Space Colony arc? I think? Uh, I, I have no idea. Well, let's go back 50 years, find out who it was, and fire them. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, again, well, go, I could be... Go play, go play Shadow the Hedgehog. 
You know what? I suddenly don't want to anymore. Someday. Someday. <laughs> Someday we are gonna be together. Why did I decide to let go of the booster? I could have easily gone to this platform right here. God damn it. Also, screw you, spinning spike balls. What? I have What's no those there. I have no gravity on my side. I can fly above you. I don't care. My god. No, okay, no, honestly, with that in mind, I just want to imagine, like, the guy who came up with the idea to install those there. It's like, oh man, this will be great for security measures. If someone tries to rush in here, they're going to get whacked with the base. And so it's like, oh, I didn't take account of the no gravity thing. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's like, really should have, really should have gone over the blueprints when, uh, constructing, um, the uh, space colony arc. <laughs> Jim, you're fired. <laughs> also, thinking about it now, it's kind of weird because it's like I look at the overall background of the stage, and I don't see myself on the space colony arc. I see this as like an Eggman going through like some entire night city, but upside down. Yeah, like the city's upside down. Like, like, how do you live? <laughs> it's like. Yeah, little do we know, this is actually uh, Nights into Dreams. It's just uh, Twin Seeds, but upside down. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know what? <laughs> you know, seeing as how this is uh, Sega uh, 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 entities we're talking about here, I can see that. <laughs> you see, this was originally going to be a Knights game, but then Sonic went up to him and was like, Hey, uh, so uh, I'll give you like, you know, I'll give you like a hundred bucks if you'll be a Sonic game. Yeah, it's like just like just like superimpose the uh, theme from Twin Seeds. Actually, I'm trying to recall. Like um, for Nights, it's like did Night uh, Into Dreams come out on the Sega Saturn or made its debut in the Dreamcast first? That was a Saturn game. Huh. Wait. Yeah, yeah. Nights was not on the Dreamcast. That was that was a Sega Saturn game. Okay, that's what I thought. That just makes all these, uh, Knights cameos in these Sonic games actually weird yet interesting at the same time. Because we see Knights in Sonic Adventure 1, we've obviously seen Knights make a bit of a cameo during Radical Highway in this game, and yet Knights didn't technically get released just yet. But, no, no, Saturn came first. Yeah, the Dreamcast came after the Saturn. What? Oh. I see you, Eggman. How did you get Have... that wrong? Are you having a good time? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, uh, well, actually, I mean, I mean, yes, yes, of course. I mean, uh, uh Yosh. Oh yes, Yosh indeed, Eggman. It's like, it's like, okay, it's like, okay, wait a second, hold on. It's like. It's like yeah. It's like yeah. While uh, while Eggman's going to the last uh, rail gun. Why well, Eggman's thing. not on a fucking rampage? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. It's like a Saturn. Uh, released on uh, November twenty second, nineteen ninety four in Japan. Wow. Yeah, the Sa yeah the Saturn came out first because the Dreamcast came out like that was the that was the generation. That was like in nineteen ninety eight, right? The Sega yeah, well, the Sega Dreamcast. Well, Dreamcast came out the same era we got PlayStation One. Because PlayStation so, so One, yeah, like, so yeah, like roughly around the late nineties, nineteen ninety. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Knights was er Knights was early nineties. You fucking <laughs> idiot! Oh my god! You dumb fuck! Oh my god! Yeah, you know, I I just love how Eggman was just flying there for a while, like, oh man, I hope I hit that goal ring. I'm the best. Wow. <sighs> <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay. Oh. 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 Yes. All right. Before we get into the real meat of what Eggman's trying to do, right? There's the official boss battle between, or, or I guess the uh, character versus character battle between uh, Knuckles and Rouge the Bat. Now, I would like now. I should now as a little, uh, little something I like to point out in regards to the uh, aesthetics um, with the both Knuckles and Rouge. Um, 
depending on uh, which uh, version of this fight you're playing in, whether it be hero or dark story, if you're playing as like say the hero story and you're fighting as Knuckles, you see Knuck, you'll still see Knuckles like obtain all of his um gear and such. But Rouge would have nothing on her. Like, she doesn't have her treasure scope on, no iron boots or anything of the sort. And the same thing applies if you do it vice versa, where you're playing where you're playing this battle in the dark story and you're playing as Rouge. Rouge would still have all of her equipment. Knuckles does not. So as a so as a little funny so as a little like I, I don't know, funny per se, but as a little quirk, I'm I'm like, you know what? I went through all this trouble to get all these upgrades for these two characters. It's like, damn it, I want to show them off simultaneously within that very cutscene, you know, because it makes sense. Also, um one one very quick way to end this battle well, just keep using the drill attack from above. There is no way they'll be able to block that attack as opposed to your standard punches. And then what and then once that's done, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> your ears are flapping. What <laughs> there's no wind in space! Yeah, it's like, yeah. <laughs> hey, the fire is cool. Stop fooling around and give me back my emerald. What are you babbling? Nani? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and and now for I guess a rather rather sentimental moment between both Knuckles and Rouge. Mom, Dad, please stop fighting. Oh, she dead. You can it's fly. Like, I know, really. That's like that makes no fucking sense here. <laughs> it's like, dude, you can fly. What are you freaking out about? You damage my wings so much, Knuckles. I can't fly with them anymore. What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> Bullshit! There's not a single hole in him. I owe you one. You just wanted to hold my hand. Hey, mom, did you know you can fly? That's a Wait, did you just call me mom? <laughs> also, Big, what are you doing back? What are you doing uh, back there, Big? Big! <laughs> help! What? Help! Buggy Dad! Stuck. It's what? like, Dad! Dad did not look advertiser friendly. <laughs> Guys, Froggy's stuck! <laughs> He was there all along. <laughs> oh, they God. always say keep your friends close. I may or may not have to censor that. <laughs> Master Emerald, can you please erase that from our memory? <laughs> you can stop the energy of the Chaos Emeralds. Can you stop these memories from flooding into my mind? <laughs> if you remove those memories, I'll just install them again. Oh, by the way, oh, by the way, hold on, look at this. <laughs> I love I okay this cameo with Big the Cat is so great in this cutscene because it's like Rouge looks back and gives that smirk the moment Big the Cat runs past her from behind it's it's like they knew they were gonna do something like this yeah she's like I saw what you were doing <laughs> that's right that's right Rouge you next <laughs> you you cheeky fuck. Yeah, you're next, Rouge. Pucker up. Tails! Tell Sonic to meet you back! Uh oh. Sonic! Amy is! I, I didn't get that, Tails! What happened to Amy? Tails! Oh, well, great. Just She's a they... mother now! <laughs> I, I'm sorry? <laughs> She's 12! Yeah, I was about to say, like, Brian? Uh. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> what is Eggman telling you to say, Tails? Oh. <laughs> also, tell Sonic that he is a dude head. Uh, okay. Uh, Sonic, yeah, Eggman, I can hear you over the phone. <laughs> no, 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 Sonic believes that. He's just like, well, that's not very nice, Tails. <laughs> idiot <laughs> <laughs> oh great well just when things were going so well amy gets captured by eggman so all right we got we got to drop every we got to drop everything go back and try to save amy from the clutches of dr eggman so uh join in next time when sonic g gets in hot pursuit and heads back to save amy we'll see you guys then <laughs>